Ready, Roo, folks, let's see where the story goes next, because I believe this is going to be the first reunion and union of the villains. They stood on my tail. They tried to use me as a casserole dish. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I guess because he's clay dish. Okay, now that makes sense. Dude, I actually wonder what the heck happens to Clayface if he was to be baked. Because is he like clay? Would he turn hard and therefore no longer be malleable? You painted buffoon. I didn't bust you out to play patty cake. I've been to LexCorp and seen this so-called crime syndicate. They're hunting for something. Something yeah. powerful. You can bet when they find it, it'll be bad news for the Earth. And more importantly, us. But Lexi, with the Justice League out of the picture, who's gonna stop them? The villains. Ooh, us. We can stop. Hey, Heatwave with the great idea. Take over. Precisely. Whatever their game is, if they want to play at being heroes, then we'll give them the greatest bunch of bad apples ever assembled. Do apples come in bunches? We'll show them how Ouch. to do things on our Earth. <laughs> it's interesting that Lex is taking control as the leader. I'm surprised, because usually it'd be Joker, right? power absorber here. You don't say. Well, we will just have to recruit the strongest, most devious, most sneaky supervillain team this world has ever seen. Who's with me? How could you need to recruit anybody else? Look at that team there. Oh, okay. I guess there is others that we need. And the first one will be Gorilla Grodd. So we need to go to the Hall of Doom. Creepy Harley face in the bottom left corner. I don't know. Am I supposed to go down here? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, why did Mercy have to park the jet all the way up there? This because she had to. Take it easy, Lex. Let's just find a way to reach it, and we'll be in Gorilla City in no time at all. You know, by most people's standards. And plus, using Reverse Flash's ability to run, we can get there very quickly. Okay, we're headed to Gorilla City, folks. Here we go. So I guess Gorilla Grodd is going to be the next one to join. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to convince him that easily. I don't think we could just run up and make, hey, dude, come join us. Each and every time. These new heroes aren't quite filling the boots the League left behind. Say, why does Flash wear boots anyway? Aren't they kind of hard to run in? He should wear sneakers. It could be because the Justice Syndicate are Earth. Of course, Jimmy. Thank you so very much for your very important contribution to this whole thing. Oh. Sneaky for them? There's something fishy about the Justice Syndicate, and I'm not just talking about Sea King. Uh. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Let's get back to work. The best place for us to be right now is the Planet Newsroom. Okay. So despite a couple of hiccups, the Galaxy Communications Tower is. Dude, look at the quality of these cutscenes. Like they're insanely good. The Justice Syndicate are hot on the heels of the one or two villains that may still be at large. <laughs> okay, well, that's one way to land. <laughs> I like that Lex just brushes it off and like he totally meant to do that. It's like, yep, that was perfectly well done. Have you ever seen what a surprise That was hilarious. Softly, softly, catchy monkey. Grod's an ape, you fool. Uh. Huh. This Gorilla City place don't seem so advanced to me. This isn't the actual city, genius. These old ruins act as a secret entrance. Uh, I knew that. Impressive. Let's okay. See way wow, look at this giant team right off the bat. We're given five characters. I don't think that's ever been the case so far. Usually we start with like two. And then we build up from there. So it's interesting that we're actually given five characters right off the bat. Ooh, okay. We need to just destroy five of those. Holy. Yeah, I sort of didn't mean to fall there, obviously. I don't know why that would be something I'd plan for. Like, yeah, you know, it'd be cool just to fall off there. <laughs> like, that'd be a terrible plan. Okay, we need to gather some studage here. Because we do need to be concerned about 
walking away from this with the true villain rank, because we've been doing very good about that so far. I'm actually very surprised that um, Lex was okay leaving, uh, I guess, Joker in charge, right? Sort of, to an extent. Okay. So, who can dig stuff? Probably Cheetah, actually, right? Yeah, because she's the claw ability. So that makes sense. Alright, it is awful quiet so far, isn't it? That's for sure. Seems like bizarrely quiet right now. Oh, no, 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 no! Sorry. I was trying to dig, not to do the claw attack. Okay, so I think we've gathered finally all the parts necessary. And now we can build this makeshift lever system. But I kind of want to get that... loose stud, you know? Oh, I didn't realize that there's a little metal ball there that you're supposed to move around. Oh, wait. I think I could just... Can't we just keep rotating this? Okay. Again, this is something that's unique. It's different. It's not a puzzle that we've encountered before. So, in that sense, it's very cool. I think we are done. I will say, by the way, I know that this is Gorilla City and everything like that, but that's an extremely inconvenient way to open a door. Like, imagine if that's how you had to open the door in order to get into your house every time. That'd be terrifying. It'd be like, holy moly, are you serious? It looks like someone forgot to give them the memo. Defend yourself. Uh oh. Well, this is just. Here we go. Anybody know a place where people don't want to beat us up? Us? Yes. You? No. Oh, look at that smack talk between the team, huh? Not even on the same team, basically. Dude, I have to say, Captain Cold might be the best character in the game. He's so much fun to play as. Like, he's got really cool combos. He moves around extremely quickly. He's just really, really, really useful. Uh-oh. Okay, now that is a problem. Because it looks like we're going to need to first melt his shield. Okay. Did we melt it away? There we go. Wow, that was not fun because we lost our combo meter. Just for that one fight there. That sort of stinks. All right, we got fire and ice, huh? Captain Cold and Heat Wave. Get that. Cleared out, and I think it's safe to proceed. Swing on the rope. Ooh. Whoa! Holy moly, how the heck was I supposed to know that that was going to happen? Okay, now we gotta move, 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 move. What does that do? Hmm. That's weird, because we've seen that before. Once or twice, even. I've just never seen what it actually does. Uh-oh. We have a big fight on our hands. There we go. So now our combo meter remains. And at the same time... Yo, where are all these studs going? Oh, okay. Well, they're going down there and we can't go after them. That stinks, though, because we, we really had the opportunity to get a lot of studs there. But the problem is that they all kept falling down off the ledge there. So, yeah, that was tough. Practically impossible to recoup those. Alright, I need Lex's help here because we need to clear out all this. There's a lot of debris here. 
And then there's some puzzle solving that will be required, it looks like. Hmm. Let's see, what are we working with? Ah, I see. And then we just need to move this piece. Ta-da! There we go. Okay, so I don't think... I don't think that any character except for Cheetah can get up there. Because I think she's the only one that has... Oh no, actually, maybe Reverse Flash could. Let's see. I'm actually kind of curious. Does he have... Oh. Uh, let's get... Yeah, Reverse Flash can. Which is not... I want to try to get that blue stud, dude! Okay. The game is just like, nope, you're not getting that blue stud. No matter what you, uh, what I do. The game is just not having any of that. Okay, wait. One, two. Oh my goodness. So in order for us to finish on that side, we need to start here. I got Are you... Okay, whatever. We're leaving that one blue stud behind. Whoa. We're a little bit too fast. We're too fast for y'all. We're too fast. We're too furious. We're too fast, y'all. Oh, no! Okay. Ooh. That worked out. I messed up. I tried to do the double jump, like the boost jump forward. Holy, these are really cool statues, by the way. Wait, what just happened? Okay, that was awkward. That was not supposed to happen. Okay, we're gonna need to wait here for a second. I was just very confused because it looked to me like I should be able to make that jump, no? There. I was gonna say, because the last time that, yeah, this drum was hit, it spawned these guys. I guess this time was really not very much different. Okay. Yikes. Holy moly. We're like, whoa! Okay. I done goofed. Okay, what is happening? Okay, we need to get across. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Bit of a close call, really. Yes. All right, I don't think we could make it up there because we probably need to have like a bigger double jump. Or maybe a flying character would be useful. Plus, I don't think we have super strength right now on the team. Okay. Note to self, don't get hit by the giant boulders that are rolling down. At an incredible speed. Hey, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> I love that they're using this thing like a slide. Look at him coming down. Come on! Yeah, you do not want to mess with Cheetah. These guys don't even know. These guys don't even know! Yeah, she just messed them all up. She is no joke. Pretty OP as a character. Now, we need to gather these studs while we have our multipliers active so that they are worth as much as possible. It looks like some of the parts might be useful. Time for a little salvage operation, huh? Let's see what we got. Hmm. Oh! Okay, don't do that, guys. Lesson learned. Now, this looks like it requires probably Green Lantern, yeah. Because that looks like the exact, um... In what game did they use that same pad? I think it was uh, Lego Dimensions again. Okay, so it seems like it spawns nothing but those rocks there, so that doesn't seem to be a concern of ours. Alright, so this needs to be melted, right? This reminds me of the uh, Tomb Raider movie with the plane and everything. Okay, so... 
looks like it's time to put together a nice little staircase for our characters to scale. Okay, before we proceed forwards, let's check out whatever is over here. All right, there really isn't much. Um, what the heck happened? I'm so confused. I'm confused primarily because I don't understand. Why am I having such a tough time jumping onto that rope? I'm having a really tough time, like... Judging... Distance. There we go. Get over there. Oh, finally. Okay, that was pretty stressful. Looks like we're gonna need to do some more digging here in just a second. But first, let's clear out everything else. Oh, there's another one of those drums. I think this is the fourth one that we've destroyed. Oh no, that was the fifth one! Cool. Uh-oh. They have a lot of enemies. Enemies! Let me get these studs quickly. You want to try to get the studs as fast as you possibly can while you have the multiplier active so that those studs are worth way more than what they would usually be. Ooh, I think we're about to play the uh, Reverse Flash minigame again. The one where he's like time traveling. That was a really cool minigame. Might be the best one so far. Just the kind of situation if you guys are like, what the heck are you talking about? You'll see in a sec. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Sonic uh, bonus game levels, if you remember. Like, where you'd have to, like, run around and kind of similarly collect stuff. Hey, 120,000 studs got us all the way to true villain rank. But for now, it's time to time travel. Let's go. Here we go, folks. So what we're doing is we're gathering these part. Okay, maybe that was a part. I don't know. I guess it was one. I just didn't think it would be because it was way too ginormous. Oh, I missed one. Ay, ay, ay! Nine. And ten. Ooh, finally. Um, Sometimes okay. It's a banana battering room. comes to building stuff. What's this thing supposed to do? Well, it, uh, isn't it obvious? Yeah, I think it's a battering ram, right? Yay! And they're through, folks. <laughs> Holy moly, that scared me! Oh my gosh! Rod has invited us, remember? Who? Walk in the park. Okay, I did not expect that. Take us to your leader. I seriously got spooked there. I guess I had the headphones turned way too far up. Greetings, oh great. Solovar? Who's this guy? Where's Grodd? Uh-oh. Grodd has been banished from here. Gorilla City is now under my rule. Grodd was so specific, we had to meet him here. That is correct, Mr. Luther. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Whoa! I will vanquish you. Dude, that's a cool costume for Grodd. He looks like the, uh, he did an injustice. Whoa. It's a monkey fight! Or ape fight. Clever, Grodd. Luring me out with your pets. Hey! There he is, Solovar. Okay, Solovar. Let them fight. Creepy Harley face in the bottom left corner. But for now, Let's it's time to rock and roll. Do I have to dodge? Shall yes, I do. Head, Super Gorilla. This city no longer belongs to you, Grodd. Surrender now. So this is kind of similar to uh, the Rhino battles in Spider-Man games. We need him to charge. And then dodge once more. Guarantee you'll pay for that. I need him to charge again. Guards, stop them. Arrest the 
intruders. Oh, never mind. What just happened? Is that the Statue of Liberty? I think that was the Statue of Liberty. That was weird. Holy, look at Grodd's combo move. Yeah. These gorillas have no idea what they're messing with. And... Is that a cannonball or something? Did he just literally create a meteor? Are, no match for me. are you kidding me? Ow. I am a greater leader to our people than you ever were, Grodd. I think he's gonna charge now. Over. Here it comes. Now wait. Then we move. Now he's gonna go for it again. No, you don't. This city no longer belongs to you, Grodd. Surrender now. Uh oh. My patience expires. Now we wait. And we gotta move just at the right time. Even though that felt like we moved a little bit too early. No it's okay. I am a greater leader to our people than you ever were, Grodd. Okay, now he's gonna charge. And we move. Guarantee you'll pay for that. All right, there's something that needs to be assembled here. Ooh, a mini kit. Sweet. Will now take you into custody. Seize them. I don't think so, Solivar. Where are your guards? Oh, here they are. Yeah, I don't think you saw how the first attempt of this went. Let's just say it didn't look very pretty for your side. We sort of crushed your foes! Wait, how are we supposed to defeat that guy with the... red... armor? I guess that works. And now... Gorilla Grodd needs to assemble something. It's a banana cannon? Or the handle's just... What if Donkey Kong appears right now? Can you imagine? Now that takes the phrase fast food to a whole new level, huh? Very different strategy between the two rounds there, huh? I didn't want it to come to Whoa! The heck is he doing? I don't know how I'm supposed to dodge that. I guess just dodge it. This will put Try. Here we go. We need him to charge ahead. Wait, what? There we go. <laughs> Flexing. He's like, bro, do you even lift? Of Gorilla City. Kneel before Grodd. <laughs> Gorilla City now belongs to me. Thank you for your help, Mr. Luther. It seems like we didn't have much choice. If you'd have known my plan. Solovar could have seeded in your thoughts and pulled it from your mind. Oh. Regardless, should you ever require aid? Funny you should mention that. Yeah. Uh, no. Well, he took him up on that offer real quick, huh? <laughs> it's like, darn it, why did I say that? <laughs> and now Solovar could take over Gorilla City again. So, yeah. Kneel before Grodd. Trophy unlocked. We got the creepy Harley face in the bottom left corner. Con Grodd. Drulations. Very clever pun there. Level complete. Free play unlocked. Very, very, very cool to see. Then, of course, we earn a pretty hefty amount of studs to increase our stud counts to now well over 1.5 million, which is stellar. Of course, we will get the true villain rank again, so that is awesome as well. Uh, Minikit-wise, I think we got two. Yeah, so that was pretty good. And then, let's take a look at the red power brick. Obviously, we missed out on. We missed out on the uh, selfie mission, and we will be rewarded with two gold bricks, one for level completion, the other for true villain. Now, as far as character unlocks, I wonder who we're going to get. Probably Gorilla Grodd, right? Maybe Solovar as well. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I think so. Wow, there's three big figs to unlock here. Solovar, 
Kirill Agrod, and then whichever other character we will find eventually. For now, though, ladies and gents, this concludes another part in the LEGO DC Supervillains Adventure.